Hello everybody and welcome to Greenstar Trading with me Tom. All views, opinions and ideas expressed in this video are my own and do not constitute financial or trading advice in any way. It is 10 to noon on Saturday the 13th of March 2021 and we're going to spend the next few minutes talking about GameStop. Going to keep this one short and sweet as there's not much to talk about really. I mean we've seen such bullish price action the last few weeks. We've seen the trade I said play out which is the gap cover. We've had our easy trade. Now things are going to get tricky. Uh, if you, that's if you want to stay in, things are going to get more complicated. But we'll talk about the um, Elliott Wave Counter in a minute, and we're going to get our basic technical analysis out of the way first. So, if you're new to the channel, let's give you a quick rundown of what's going on here on the chart. We have our Elliott Wave Count, which is all the numbers and letters. Let's just clear those out of the way for the moment. We have four exponential moving averages, 10 in yellow, 20 in blue, 60 in orange, 250 in green. We have a MACD with a 10 for short-term moving average, 20 for the long and a 9 to smooth. We have an RSI set to a 10 close with a 30 green level representing oversold and the red 70 level representing overbought. We have a volume profile on the right-hand side here showing the peak of both buy and sell volume with the extreme of it being represented by what we call a point of control, which is the yellow dashed line here. This is a visible range and adjust when we adjust the chart right so first things first what we can see in the weekly time frame well three big bullish candles back towards the highs didn't quite make it there yet if we are going to at all we'll talk about that later still above the 10 20 60 250 exponential moving averages on the weekly time frame we could not even get down into oversold conditions we got back into neutral between the 40 and 60 on the rsi before returning back to overbought not quite there yet but almost macd no sell signal on the weekly time frame all of this 90 percent correction could not bring about a cross of the short and long-term moving averages so bullish was this initial move up back to bullish momentum now with these bright green bars no sign of a sell signal on the weekly time frame yet let's come down to the day time frame and see what we can see still above the 10 20 60 and 250 exponential moving averages with a test of the 10 here this was on the 10th of March last week. We came down after making our high, flew down, tested the 10 exponential daily average here to the tick, started moving back up. We had, uh, we can see here the MACD, we had our sell signal back here, and then we had a big collapse in price. Bullish momentum, bearish momentum, sorry, actually died off before the bottom started to fade away back into bullish momentum, crossover on the short and long term moving averages, thrust back to the highs, but not quite there yet, back above all the major moving averages, could not get to oversold conditions on the RSI, even on the daily time frame, just in the neutral territory, like I said, this big like I said in the previous video, this big flat line in the RSI, well, the price headed lower, and momentum flat line, these are your diamond handers. These are the people who are simply holding. They are not panicking. They are not letting go. Whoever did here, they hit a wall when they hit these guys here, and there was just, that's it. No more bearish momentum to be had. This is when I saw this flatlining day after day after day, and I, and I pointed out in my previous uh, few videos ago, the big gap here. This was the easy trade. We were going to come up and cover this gap. We were going to shoot up like a rocket. That's exactly what we did. Job's done. Right, back up into overbought conditions on the RSI. So that's basic technical analysis. Let's bring in our Elliott Wave count. We've just got a couple of things to update on the chart since I haven't updated it since a few days ago, um, where I basically looking at where we could go so let's go full screen here for a minute so let's come talk about the trade we were talking about which was the gap cover here that's now complete as you can see on the daily time frame we came up inside of this candle to the tick closed it came down brought up came back tested it back up again so nice and easy you can see an even clearer test of this on the hourly time frame if i just come in and we auto the chart let's have a look so the white line here represents the gap at 212 spot 32 look at this red candle here we wick straight up to it find resistance at 212 close the technical damage under the chart which is the gap here sell off gap back over it test it to close it uh, sorry test the gap for support top of the gap here find support push up into a peak sell off to close this gap here all technical damage done to the chart is now is now tidied up and completed so we can't look to anything which says this is going to happen now it's now flying by the seam of your pants time because we've come a long way very fast again we've fixed the technical damage in the chart we've had our easy trade we've had our 370 odd percent profit from the low here uh, for me now i'm out of the trade bar a tiny position which has got um, a stop loss back at the gap cover and that's it and i will be out of profit once it's over and you know what guys if you're part of the wall street's community uh, wall street's bet guys uh, the diamond handers and you're holding this no matter what i hope it goes to a thousand for you i hope it goes to two thousand three thousand 
and and you guys absolutely kill it and smash it but i've had my easy trade out of this and i don't need to take the risk but i wish you the best of luck all right and i'm happy to be left behind while you guys go off to the moon unless of course my little what's left of my trade stays in but i've got a feeling we're going to sell off here so let's talk about our two options right we're either in an impulse wave and we've just gone one two three four five into a one now i wouldn't count this here as a three four and this is a one two you can go one two three four five in here into a one two the problem is we've got an overlap we had this sudden sell-off after putting in the high here we just raced down and then we overlapped here so if i show you what i mean let's just zoom in over here and bring the chart down this low here let's just bring up uh, a horizontal this low here overlap this high here so we can't call this a free fall so i'm happy to just call this a wave one at the moment so going on the bullish idea and this is uber bullish guys um you know we just have to look at it that, that way that we're just going to keep pushing higher if this is true we'll zoom in here and have a look at what we've got going on we'll come down to 15 minutes so we sold off like lightning here this is brutal so this supports the idea that this was some kind of major top right so either a wave one or a wave b we'll talk about that in a moment and then we've gone down in an a three waves into a b might be complete might not be complete and then we'd be looking for five waves down in a c okay so bum 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 into a two and then off we go into the wall blue yonder higher and higher and higher and that would be an abc correction from a one on the intermediate time frame into a two so that's option one and on that option then we are just going so much higher we're going into three four five into a three into a four into a five thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands higher than where we are which does seem completely unbelievable and insane but let's just be absolutely honest with each other GameStop at 482 spot 55 a previous high from where it was trading six months ago was absolutely insane so we know that absolutely insane can happen and for the sake of the bulls holding it let's hope it does bring it on we're in insane times so just let's let's just do it excuse me for a moment just have a quick sip of a drink there all right so that's option one and i know the count's really simplistic at the moment but like i said since fixing the technical damage on the chart here we haven't really got that much to go on i will start to fill this out over time but so volatile so gappy in places so option number two we put in a wave one up here or a wave three or a wave five whatever it was could be primary degree five could be primary degree one it's such an insane move we just don't know but we know it's a, a high and until it gets taken out we have to look at it as the high so we go a b c let's just put this in orange to show it's our alternate count and let's move it into intermediate time frame so it fits within our primary degree that we're using for our wave one right so nice and simple the sell-off last week after hitting that high we can cons we can consider that either the signal of a wave one completion or a wave b completion it was so violent so abrupt that it suggested a major top in place um, at least for the short term and this is what the abc would look like now a if we don't go to a new high which could be an expanding flat let's just assume we stay below it this would be a regular flat then we'd be looking for the c to complete just beyond the a or just before the a a running flat would have it complete before the a anywhere around the 61 percent retracement regular flat would have us go just beyond the a with a one-to-one -one parity so what does that mean so one-to-one -one parity the top to the bottom to the recent top puts the price down here where i put it basically and that would be back around 28 dollars 27 spot 71 i make it and actually two options guys you know we had that big pivot last week here sudden sell off that's either an a wave down with a b and five waves in a c onto intermediate degree this is a bullish count going higher into a three or we topped in a b wave and we've got five big waves to come down over the next few weeks and months and the price is going to crash all the way back into the 20 bucks territory i'm sorry i can't give you more i gave you the best i could when we had obvious technical damage in the chart to fix we got a nice trade out of it but from this point onwards you are taking risk that's it you're just taking risk now and uh god and if you get rewarded for it god bless you i hope you get the, i hope you go to the moon but if you get smashed just be aware of the potential for that for it to go horribly wrong from here so really all i can say 
is keep an eye on this high. Breaking this high is the next big step. Getting above 482 spot 55, we can have more confidence. If we see a three wave correction here and then five waves out in a smaller time frame, and then three and then five, you know what I'm saying. I'm talking about your impulse wave. You know, you're going uh, three waves down, one, two, three, and then you're going to start five wave moving a one. Three wave moving to two, five wave moving to three, three wave moving. If we start to see five waves on every time frame coming out of a low sometime soon, as we take out this high, you can be more confident that we are just going to keep going up in the bullish count. If you see a breakdown in price after we complete this, what looks like a three wave move, but then we get a retracement, and then we get a move down, and then we start to see five, three, five to the downside, so on and so forth on every time frame, we could be more confident that we're correcting. And we're falling down lower so that's the best i've got for you guys at the moment wish i could help you out more but um that's it that's where we're gonna have to leave it until we get more price data we'll keep an eye on that high at 482 spot 55 we'll keep an eye on the high um well we haven't really got an invalidation point to look at i'm afraid because we've this huge wave three was so massive you know we could come back all the way to the top of our minor wave one here back at 48 bucks before we could really invalidate this move up so you know what have we got we could retrace let's look at that then before we fit before we wrap up the video let's have a look at that okay so 50 percent. let's pop some targets on then let's assume we're retracing into a wave two let's just assume we're doing that for the moment where would we likely stop okay so price labels actually no i use raise instead since we get a more permanent area on the chart so 50 percent correction i actually start even lower Let's assume this is a wave one up. So let's say 38 to. We'll do that in green. And then let's say 50%. Oh, I'm doing this in log and I. Sorry, yes, I should do this in arithmetic scale, really, to be fair. So let's just span the chart. So the 38 to, we've already gone through. We've already gone through the 50 with the A wave moved down. So that's enough on its own isn't it it's just it can't be surely it can't be a one two that quickly could it be sorry guys i don't mean to distract myself like this you could argue that the one two was done in a, an hour i just don't be, oh, i was about to say i don't believe it but for god's sake anything's possible isn't it with this thing so i don't think it is i think we've done a b and we've got c to come so the most likely target having gone through the 28, 23.6, 38.2 and the 50, the most likely target is a yellow zone here in it, so let's just put up that target as a 61.8 right here use a yellow bar for it ok, delete this and then we'll just put a little tag so I can see it clearly on the chart and then we'll just put a little label okay so this is the 61.8 of wave one at 157 spot 29 and that would complete a free wave move wouldn't it because we had this race down here in an a up into a b down to into c and then off we're going so there's a the target for you around the 157 spot 29 around 157 150 160 in that region we are going to come into some kind of support if we come down in five waves from the c we may have done it in a 1-2 here, I can't believe it, but if we have, it's possible we just keep going up right now from next week. It's possible that that was a 1-2. I just don't want to believe it. <laughs> I don't care now, guys. Like I've said, I've expressed my position. I'm just saying from a technical analysis point of view, I don't want to believe that was a 1-2 because it's just madness, isn't it? So 1, 2, 3 moves we want to see in a corrective move. But fair enough so to sum up because i know i'm rambling now i know i'm waffling i'm gonna just bring the chart back into log save it we are either looking at a wave one complete because of this overlap with an abc to come down to potentially the 61.8 percent retracement to find a wave two or we've topped in a wave b and we are just coming all the way down to 20 bucks and lower or 20 20 high 20s low 30s low 20s whatever we don't know a long way down and there's your two options guys right then if you're new to the channel and you like what you've seen please subscribe smash the like button let us know what you think in the comment section below take care guys i'll be back with you shortly with some more videos all the best bye bye